uh, is to my dog Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, Monday has a special name, very special name. My father, when I'm five, says, well, Max, we gotta name the dog something really special. It can't just be fluffy. What the specialest thing you know? And I go, well, Daddy, Monday is special. Because Monday was the day of all the days that I was allowed to snuggle up with my mom in her bed and watch uh, Lamb Chop and cartoons <laughs> at 6 a.m. On all other nights, I had to wait until 9 a.m. and couldn't, you know. So I named the dog after my, like, Oedipal victory. Oedipal <laughs> 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 victory commemoration dog. Uh, uh, and he died of cancer, but this was long before it would have been symbolic. But um, I ended up, I'm vegetarian and I ended up eating meat accidentally, and I felt really horrible and started thinking about my dog and my dog's flesh. And I wrote this poem uh, to my dog, who died when I was uh, like 12 or 13, but you know, poem was new, or last year. Poem to my dog Monday on night I accidentally ate meat. The lights went out on Monday, laying on a green rug, wanting to make noise only. A visitation left in a small, white body. The symbol is outrageous, like a hungry man in your soul slamming down jam jars. Thank God for the past tense and its order, and that the dog died before it was symbolic. Monday, the hunt left your bed. It found a white bulb in your body to sleep in. Monday, it's leaving me too. Why does life love flowers most when they're still bulbs? The plant and her roots all stalks, stalking themselves in a circle in the dark. Monday, with your millions of soft horns, I will slip behind your poodle eyes, loading myself like a cartridge of light. I will live in your small, ecstatic brain and take your life and you can take mine. And we won't give our lives to cancer, but to each other. And thank God for the future where we levitate. Or maybe oblivion curls down our ears into wings or figs that he eats. Hey.